McConnell Dow, the multidiscipline contractor. Excellence, innovation, industry leader. Welcome to the Pilbara Iron Ore Infrastructure Project Marine Works for Fortescue Metals Group. FMG, the whole project is huge and I think this is just one part of it. Uh, it is a big job, yes. Yeah, uh, one of the biggest jobs McConnell Dow's ever undertaken. You know, it's gone perfectly. To see, to see that happen is just, I think, just a great reward for everybody that's been involved. It's McConnell Dow's extensive experience in complex marine construction, which made it the natural choice to provide a turnkey solution for FMG's new iron ore loadout facility at Anderson Point, Port Hedland. The scope of work for the 22-month project included design, procurement, fabrication and installation of a 254-metre long wharf and 420-metre lay-by berth. Included were 14 new dolphins, access jetty, transfer deck and wharf with 320 metres of conveyor and associated conveyor equipment. The $180 million construction job would require a peak on-site workforce of 150 people. Industry leaders, McConnell Dow, put their design and construction teams to work to ensure an effective and smooth program of works for our clients. Well, it starts off at the uh, early stage of the project, looking at the design and how we're going to uh, go about building the job, looking at what uh, plant and equipment and temporary works we'll need. Fabrication of the massive wharf modules commenced in China. The wharf modules used approximately 1,200 tonnes of steel. And they were fabricated in a couple of uh, places in China. Uh, one fabrication facility being at Shenzhen and the other being at uh, Qingdao. In total, nearly 6,000 tonnes of steel were needed to complete the wharf. Once initial works were complete, the module components were shipped to the Australian Marine Complex at Henderson, Western Australia. The modules were stringently checked throughout the assembly process to ensure compliance with engineering standards and tolerances. When the modules were assembled, concrete decking was added and conveyor and other components were fitted. We've made a, uh, a whole jetty down here in, in, uh, in, in AMC facility that's going up to Port Edland uh, that started off its life in China and I guess that's one of the, the challenging things that the, that's sort of come about and it's, it's certainly been good. Now the modules were ready to be loaded aboard a heavy lift ship bound for Port Hedland. But meanwhile in Port Hedland, McConnell Dow had mobilised a 150-man workforce. The team at Port Hedland had already begun to prepare for the arrival of the heavy lift ship. The 42 piles to support the modules were driven and pile caps installed. The approach entry had to be constructed. Dolphins and substructure were all being made ready for the arrival of the top deck. Temporary works were underway. Our project administration building, lay down area, stores and marine logistics were all in place and fully operational. Seven barges were brought down from Asia. Three were then fitted with cranes and other equipment. Two received 350 ton cranes and the other a 180 ton crane. Back at Henderson, the team is ready to load the modules. It's a feat in its own. The module here in front of us is uh, sitting on pretty well on 600 ton. The module to our left just behind us over here is about 640 ton. The first module is moved into place and is ready to be loaded. The Happy Buccaneer and its crew work all over the world and are seasoned professionals. But to lift such a massive weight, meticulous attention to detail is required. It will take more than an hour to lift each of the five modules once they are ready for lifting. It will take more than two days to complete all the lifts.
Once loaded, the Happy Buccaneer will sail to Port Hedland with a total weight of approximately 3,000 tonnes. Modules will then be unloaded and delicately placed on piles. I think about in five days' time up there they'll have a complete wall. And uh, the ship took four days to sail up and as you can see behind me they started to unload them and everything's going beautifully. The second module was secured first. It creates a template for the other modules, ensuring compliance within prescribed tolerances. And a lot of temporary works just in um, setting up to land and guides on the, on the splice joints so that your welds line up and you've got the correct gaps. All part of the engineering and that's what we think we do well. Once in place, welders move in to quickly connect the top side to the substructure. Uh, it's all gone very, very smoothly. I think we've landed our first one within 10 mil, which over the size of the first module, being about 60 metres long and 16 metres wide, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Over the next three days, each of the five modules will be lifted and welded into place. It is this modular style of operation that is at the cutting edge of the marine construction industry. It's been perfected by McConnell Dow. It's innovation that brings competitive advantage to McConnell Dow's clients and customers. Ease of construction and also uh, program advantage. You can be working on the top sides of the wharf in parallel with uh, the piling so that uh, the two come together at the same time rather than uh, waiting for the piling to finish before you start building the, the top sides. There's benefits in cost, uh, the labour is cheaper if you take it off site, it's more efficient because you're building a wharf at ground level instead of over the water. It's these advantages McConnell Dow have brought to the Pilbara Iron Ore Infrastructure Project for the Fortescue Metals Group. Know-how which delivers rapid and reliable construction to meet the needs of the nation's biggest marine projects. Yeah, basically it looks like uh, there's a jetty built overnight. It's a very, very effective, efficient way to, to build a job. This, is, this modular form of construction is something that uh, we want to take to as many jobs as we can be involved in. Skillful engineering, innovative approach and construction excellence, on time and on budget solutions. It's all synonymous with McConnell Dow. And we will finish this job something like two months ahead of schedule. Um, and in part, that's because of the fact that we're doing building this in modular form. So yeah, it's, a, it's a, just a fantastic way to do a job. A team of quality people producing high quality results. The team's been excellent, eh? The diversity of the boys has been, like you've got crane drivers when they're not driving, they'll help us out with the rigging and it's been a great team effort actually. New innovations, new solutions. They've really become uh, uh, leaders in the marine construction field in Western Australia now, and, uh, which uh, bodes well for their future. There's a lot of expansion projects coming up and I think they'll be well placed to, uh, to win some of that work. McConnell Dow have successfully brought together the right design, the right materials, the right people and the right plant and equipment to complete this large-scale, highly complex construction project two months ahead of schedule and on budget. McConnell Dow, Australian construction giant.